Reaction to 2 Kings chapters 1 through 3. And there are some difficult stories, and I feel like I've been saying that a lot in my reactions in this section, but I just want to say a couple things. And this is, just goes for life in general, but it also goes for the, script, for the scriptures. Two things can be true at the same time when we are experiencing stuff. And I'm going to share with you what I mean by that. You see, in this passage, we have war and death and things that are hard for us to, to take in in our, our culture today because things were different. But I want to talk about one story in general. There's this story where Elisha, just after Elijah has been taken to heaven, right? Crazy stories happening, whirlwinds, people being taken to heaven, miracles. Right after that, he's traveling and he goes by this town and out come this band of says 50 people. And some uh, translation says youths, young men. Uh, and they come out and they start to harass him. And Elijah, Elisha causes, calls this curse and it says that they are then mauled by bears. And we think, man, is this how God worked? Does God send bears to maul people? And in this story, I'm going to share with you what some people, how they understand and interpret the original language. But I think uh, I'm going to share with you also how I think two things can be true. So some people will say, listen, if you understand the original language, you understand that this it's essentially a gang coming out and threatening Elisha's life. And then uh, he's uh, saved uh, by God through these bears. And that's their explanation of the story. And I'm not saying that. Anyway, I think that that. I want to be clear. I was a little unclear with my language there. This is the interpretation that uh, Elijah's life is being threatened by a group of people who are idolaters and pagan worshipers who want to kill God's prophet and that God defends them through these bears. That's the, the kind of interpretation that people will give. And I don't think that that's wrong, but I think that we also have to read the story and say, this is what it says. It says that they came out and they were mocking him and he called a curse and bears mauled them. Uh, and both of those things can be true at the same time, right? The interpretation and the under, greater understanding, I'm not saying that that's wrong, but we also understand that it's a graphic story that we may struggle with. And I don't know if I'm expressing this well, but this is what's happening, right? And it's important that as we read scripture, we read it as a whole, because sometimes the details, uh, and, and rightfully so, when they are tracking humanity and humanity's like brokenness, they are difficult. And we see it in the story, difficult details. But in, in the big picture, we must remember that the story of the Bible is a story that leads to Jesus. So we need to look at Jesus. We need to look at the way God treats people. Um, and we need to look at his formation in Eden to have a true understanding of the total picture. But the story of the kings is not, it's recording failure. That's what this is all about. And we see the failure of humanity in a lot of ways. I hope this all made sense. Uh, I hope that you understand that two things can be true, like an interpretation can be true, and then the story can be difficult at the same time. Uh, keep reading. Uh, we're getting to Jesus.